Hey y'all, it's me, Natalie. Um, I just wanted to come on here and talk to y'all real quick. Um, today is July 12th. Um, I take my test in three days um, on July 15th. Um, so I just wanna come on here and kind of talk about like how I've been studying. So what I just got done doing is I was running errands around town um, and I was like, man, I really need to multitask right now because my test is in three days and I'm kind of freaking out. But at the same time, I'm kind of more confident now than I was like a few days ago. Um, I guess cause I'm just accepting it. Like, Hey, your test is in a few days. Like, you know, your classmates are passing, you know, do you got this? So anyways, what I was doing while I was running around town is I was listening to some Mark Klimek, um, lectures that one of my friends sent me through an email and they're like, Hey, you really need to listen to these lectures. They're amazing. Um, so I was like, okay. These lectures are very straightforward. He's like a no BS kind of guy. Um, very entertaining. It's literally just a recording that you listen to. And um, he makes it like super easy to understand and just breaks things down in a, in a way to where it's easy to remember and where you actually get what, what he's saying. Um, I'm like, man, could they have lectured like this in school that would have been wonderful <laughs> but of course not so anyways i've been uh listening to the mark clemick um lectures those have been super helpful Most of the recordings are around like an hour or so long um but it's really not bad because they're they're pretty informative and he gives you all kind of test taking strategies he's like forget this uh just focus on this look at this part of the question uh, they usually give you these answers and like, this is how you go about, uh, you know, figuring out which one's right and all that stuff. And I love his lectures. I mean, so glad my friend sent me that. So, um, anyway, if you have the opportunity, get those. Um, and what else I've been doing is I've been, uh, I went to the Hearst live review like a couple months ago, like, like, a couple weeks after graduation um and the Hearst live review was really good but then I kind of started realizing that uh I didn't really like the Hearst reviews rationales like from their simulator quizzes and I wasn't doing too hot on the simulator quizzes well then another one of my um nursing school friends was like hey I I took the NCLEX I passed here in my UWorld uh account so I was like okay I'll see what this is about. I heard good things. Um, so got on there, started taking some, uh, 75 question quiz, uh, things on there. And I was like, holy crap, these rationales are like way better than her reviews. Cause they give you pictures and like very detailed description, uh, rationales. Uh, so you could really understand like where you went wrong, why it was right, all this stuff. And then it gives you uh, statistics. That's probably like my favorite part. Um, anyways, they give you statistics like, hey, 85% of people got this question right also, or hey, you suck because you chose this one that 19% of people chose and the right answer like 75% of people chose. And then you're like, oh crap, I should have known that. Um, but like most of the time you're with the majority of people, I think. Um, so, uh, yeah, I really, really like you world. It's good practice. Um. And I just like how it shows you, like, statistics and the rationale are really good compared to Hearst Review. Hearst Review is just, like, very vague, and it's not, it's just not that good. Um, and then on Hearst Review, they say, oh, if you can get 77 out of 125 correct, then you're good to go to take your NCLEX. Like, we think you can pass it. Well, I was getting, like, mid-60s. I'm like, that's 50%. Like, that's not good. So... Finally, the other day, I took my third uh, simulator quiz on Hearst Review, and I got 76 out of 125, and I still have one more simulator quiz I'm saving for, like, probably tomorrow to, like, you know, be, like, as my assessment since I don't have an assessment on uh, UWorld. Usually, UWorld comes with, I think, one or two assessments. 
Well, since my friend gave me his, I don't have an assessment because he used his up. Um, so I'm using that as like my assessment. So whatever, hopefully I'll uh, score 77 or higher on there. Um, so yeah, and like my week topics, I've been listening to the Mark Clemix things, uh, like I told you. And then I go in my Hearst review little spiral book that you get with the live review. Um, and I go and I do like teaching, like I pretend like I'm teaching someone, I'm talking out loud. And um, I do this at my house, so it's okay. Um, <laughs> but so what I do is I go through the book um, and I go over like sections where I am terrible at, like pee. When I do my UWorld quizzes, I do it timed. I do all subjects, all um, systems because that's how the test is gonna be. So I want it to be like the most realistic. And then I choose 75 questions because that's the um, max that you can do at once on UWorld. And um, and then I take my, my quiz or whatever. Um, and lately I've been scoring, well, pretty much the whole time I've been scoring like right above average. So it'll tell you like for the whole test, like hey, the average on this test was 51% and you made this. So it was 51%, I'll make like 53%, which I'm like, eh, I mean, it's still good. I'm like above average, but whatever. Um, and then it'll tell you like your, your performance, like overall performance out of all the quizzes you've taken. And uh, it'll tell you like your ranking and then like uh, it'll, it'll show you like what the median ranking ranking is, which is like I guess everyone else that's on U World. So right now I'm on I'm on the 58th rank, whatever that means. And then it'll show you like how many questions you've gotten right and how many uh, questions you've gotten wrong on like a pie chart kind of deal. And then um, the median. It shows on mine, I, I guess this shows on everyone's, but um, it's the 48th uh, rank. So it's showing that I'm like 10, 10 rankings higher or something. Um, and it's like, I do way better on New World's quizzes versus Hearst reviews. I don't know if it's like because the questions are harder or what, I don't know. But, um, and they're pretty similar questions, so I don't know what the deal is. Uh, so anyways, that's what I've been doing. Um, I just wanted to give you a little update. Um, today is July 22nd. I was supposed to take, supposed to take, um, my NCLEX a week ago, uh, today. Um, so that is supposed because I didn't take it on the 15th. Um, not by my choice. Um, we had a hurricane that came through, Hurricane Barry. Um, and where I was going to test is about an hour away. And we were getting pretty slammed where I live. And I knew that where I was going to test was getting hit pretty hard with it too. Um, so, um... You can reschedule your test up to 24 hours before your test. So, uh, me and one of my friends were texting. We're like, oh my God, what if we can't make it there? What if it's really bad, you know, over there, you know, an hour away? Um, and so, we both made the decision the day before to reschedule. And um, so, now we're going to be taking it on July 31st. Um, so, I mean, it was bittersweet because I was really ready in my head. I was, I was like, yes, I'm ready to get over with because it's not fun to drag out. It's really not fun because it's just an added stress to your already stressful, uh, new grad situation. So, um, anyway, so we rescheduled it, redid our whole, uh, hotel booking and all that stuff because, uh, we got a hotel like right by the testing center. So now um, we have more time to study. That's the sweet part of it. The bitter part was that I wanted to get it over with. <laughs> um, so right now I'm just listening to more Mark Klimek, um lectures. 
Um, I've been doing U World because um, you just have to like constantly um, stimulate your brain and get in that like nurse thinking mode and the NCLEX test taking mode and all that stuff. So yeah, um, I just want to give y'all a little update and I'll just keep making these videos and, um, and giving y'all some tips and stuff. And hopefully, um, we do really well on the NCLEX and, um, you know, hopefully this extra added on time to our, you know, studying, you know, helps us out some, who knows? <laughs> And uh, I just take it as a blessing in disguise. I feel like I can't breathe. I just got out of the test. My nerves were bad the entire time, no matter how much I tried to, um, like, calm myself down and, like, take, take deep breaths. I can't even talk right now. Oh, my God. It was so hard. You could like tell uh, my voice is shaky. Oh, God, that was terrible. I'm pretty sure I failed. I know everyone says that, but like, I felt like I was guessing the whole time. And I feel like I prepared well, but it was just like not what I was expecting at all. It's like I can't catch my breath. I felt like throughout the whole test, I was just holding my breath and my chest was like super tight the whole time. High anxiety. I started off the test with uh, my earphones on to block out the noise. And those were like squeezing my head too tight. Um, so I had to take those off like midway through the test. Hey y'all, <laughs> Jasper here. Um, sorry about that other video cutting off. Um, my friend came and met me at the car and I was like, oh, gotta go. Um, so what I was saying was the test was, um, not really what I was expecting. It's super overwhelming. Um, the questions were more broad than I thought that, the, that they were going to be. And they weren't worded exactly how I thought they were going to be either. Um, like... I use Hearst Review and UWorld to study, mainly UWorld, and just certain parts were just, like, worded weird, I guess, and, um, so that kind of threw me off, plus my anxiety was through the roof, um, as you can imagine, and, um, anyways, I took, um, two and a half hours, I, I had 82 questions, and then I did a little uh, research um, question part. Um, and I did the little um, survey at the end. Um, and that part probably took me like 30 minutes. So probably two hours for the 82 and then 30 minutes for the other stuff. Um, and I, I feel like I was the opposite of what people usually want. Because most people are like, oh, please shut off at 75. And... When I was, like, creeping up on 75, I was like, please do not shut off at 75 because I don't think I've been doing good. Like, please do not shut off anytime soon. Like, give me a chance, please. And then when it shut off at, um, at 82, I was like, oh, God. Oh, God. Like, they were probably laughing at me. Like, the people watching us on video, because they, they video you. Um... They were probably laughing at me because I was like, I was like rocking back and forth. I was like, oh my God. Oh, and I was like praying and stuff. And, um, and to be honest, I did the, the research questions. Like you don't have to do those, but I did. I was like, I need all the good karma right now. Like maybe this will help my karma. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, it was just crazy and then um I did the Pearson view trick probably an hour after um the test I got a good pop-up then I redid it again uh like two-ish hours after the test because they say that's like when it's the best time to check um and then I also checked today which today is the day after my test um and I got the good pop-up again so 
that's really good news um, because they they say that this trick is very 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 accurate um especially if you get the good pop-up then that's like almost a for sure that you passed so I'm like please please be accurate because I don't want to take that test again I don't want to just I don't want to deal with all that heartache and like having to tell everyone that I didn't pass and it's just scary and overwhelming and my anxiety just like uh, I'm just ready to be done um and if you don't know what the Pearson view trick is um it's a trick that people have been doing for a long time to try to see if they pass their test um and what you do is you go on Pearson views uh website and you go to the NCLEX um link or whatever and you sign in like you normally would and then you go to like register um for the NCLEX again and you pretend like you've never you never registered before so you type in all your information um you click no 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 like I've never taken the NCLEX I've never whatever and then you go in and you put your card information in and then you'll change your expiration date um and then you hit submit and um it'll give you either the good pop-up which says something like um our records show that you already registered for this test blah 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 if it's a bad pop-up it'll try to say like something about how they need the you to put the right card information in or like it declined your card or like something like that um but I'll, I'll put a little picture um of what the good pop-up looks like so yeah i find out tomorrow around i think one ish and i'll be in austin um and hopefully i will be celebrating in austin because wouldn't that be fun um so y'all stay tuned i'll um keep y'all updated and hopefully we have some good news tomorrow Hey y'all, so I'm back. Um, it's been a few days, um, well, quite, quite a few days um, since I've taken my test. Today is Monday. Um, I took my test on Wednesday um, and I was in Austin over the weekend. Had a lot of mishaps um, happen um, while I was trying to like leave for the trip and so that's why I'm kind of late posting um, this part of the video. Um, so Friday when I was going through Houston, um, my test results popped up, like the little quick results where you can pay, um, it's like $8 and you can pay to see, um, your results. So I'm in the middle of Houston and, um, like, oh my God, they popped up. Let me pay for it and, you know, find out. So we're like going through Houston traffic and, um, and I pay the eight dollars, and I'm like, oh my god, I can't even look. Oh my gosh, I'm like freaking out. And uh, <laughs> and so uh, I hit submit, and I'm like not looking at my phone. I'm like, oh my god, y'all, I can't, I can't look. And I had my brother DJing, and I was like, play some happy music. And uh, <laughs> and my boyfriend, meanwhile, he's like trying not to wreck, and uh, you know, trying to watch all all the lanes and all this, and um. And then I found out that I passed. So your girls and I are in now. Um, it feels super surreal. Um, it's very exciting. And I feel like a whole weight has been lifted off of me. It feels like 50 pounds has lifted off my chest and my shoulders. And now I can breathe a little and relax a little. Um, I know like I still have a long journey of like still learning a lot and all this but it's like I just passed the biggest test of my life and I did it in 82 questions and let me tell you I'm not the person that thought that they were gonna pass in um what a few questions past the minimum I'm kind of an average student like yeah I would make like pretty good grades every now and then but I was not by any means like a wonderful student. I worked really hard. I studied a lot um, for the grades that I got and I still wouldn't get that great of grades. Like I I would get all over the spectrum. I would get C's like, you know, pretty often. 
Um, and I was even with me, me really trying. Um, so I think it just goes to show that everyone has a different, um, experience and, um, you know, mine was, I thought I was failing the whole time. And then when it shut off at 82 questions, I was like, oh no, oh no, I failed. There's no question about it. I failed. Cause I just didn't think I was that person to to pass in that amount of questions. I thought for sure I was going like mid mid one hundreds. Um, cause I just I don't know I don't know maybe I should have been more like confident in myself. I was very confident in myself. Um, but you always have that like doubt in the back of your head like that you're not gonna pass. I think everyone has that even if you're top of your class. Um, so. I think um, what I'm trying to say is like your mindset has a lot to do with like how you perform. Um, the day of the test, um, we got up kind of early. We took our test in the afternoon. I started at 1. I was supposed to start at 1.30, but I got there early at 1, like how you're supposed to. And they, they got me in right away. Um, and so I think... Um, just keeping a positive mindset really, really helped in, like, being confident in yourself. Even if it was a false confidence, like, even if deep down inside I wasn't confident, I was like, I'm going to rock this test. And I just kept telling myself that, my friend that, I'm like, we're going to rock this, we're going to pass. You know, there's nothing that can hold us back. And I think that helped both of us because we both did really well. And um, we we were pretty much in the same boat, like... Hers shut off at 80, mine shut off at 82, and we both passed. Um, and we were both, I felt like we're pretty average students. Like, we weren't top of our class or anything like that. Um, so, that day, um, we woke up, and I really believe in um, if you look good, then you feel good, you do good. So, um, we both, like, got our makeup on and like listened to like really like hype happy music to like kind of set the mood and we just took our time getting ready and we're like just talking and whatever and we got a hotel room uh the night before because it was like an hour away the traffic can be like really bad there so we just got a hotel room um and we we studied the night before, um, did like practice questions, but like we went, we didn't take anything like super seriously. Like if we got a question wrong, we didn't really let it like get to us. Um, and then we went um, and we ate at Waffle House. Um, I tried not to eat like too too much, but uh, I was definitely trying to get some coffee in because I needed to wake myself myself up. So. Um, I ate a good breakfast. I think that's important. Um, and then we drank our coffee and we were just trying to like calm ourselves down and like talk each other up. And then we did all this so, so early that we had so much time to spare like, um, before the test. So we probably finished eating at like 11 and we still like I still didn't need to be in in the testing facility till like 1 and her, she was supposed to start at 2 so she didn't need to go until 1 30 but she went in with me at 1 and then ended up taking it at the same time as me because I had room for her um anyway so we kind of just like did like 30 questions together before um before we went into the testing facility just to kind of like calm our nerves and um and we just listened to happy music and we told each other like we're gonna pass today like today's a good day because we're gonna find out today that we're nurses we're gonna become nurses today and um went in confidently um and you know deep breathing lots of praying um, and then you just have to tell yourself, like, I can do this, and I will do this, and I will pass. And just be confident in yourself. And, um, and I know, like, it's hard to calm your anxiety. I didn't calm my anxiety the whole time. 
But I did a lot of deep breathing, a lot of praying during my test. And I kept telling myself, you got this. You got this. Like, just stay, like, just stay in it. Like, don't, you know, start freaking out and answering things too quickly. Or, like, don't spend too much time on uh, questions. Because I, I started to realize I was spending a little too much time on some questions. And I was like, come on, girl, you got to get together. It just, it's all about having little pep talks with yourself in your head, um, to get you through it, and, um, anyways, and then after the test, we were both like, oh my god, <laughs> I think I failed, and, like, we did the little piercing view trick, and we both had good pop-ups, so that was good, um, we both got, um, daiquiris after to kind of calm, calm us down some, uh, we we're like, oh my god, we need, like, 15 drinks, like, stat, and, um, Anyway, so, yeah, we we both passed, um, and it's crazy that finally this is done. Everything that I've worked super hard for, it's done, and I have the credentials to prove it now that I'm a registered nurse, and it feels weird to say that, um, but... Yeah, all the hard work over years and years and years of schooling and studying and all this has finally paid off. And if I can do it, you can too. And don't ever doubt yourself because, you know, I feel like if you doubt yourself, then you'll you'll accomplish a lot less. Never underestimate your ability to do things. Um, because I'm by far not the smartest person. Am I smart? Yes, I I am. But I also work really, really, really hard. And um, I just tell myself, you can do it. Nothing's impossible. Okay, so when you walk in the building, um, we are in a very tall, like, mirrored glass building. Um... And we went up to the floor. When you get in there, um, there's someone on a desk and they make you read this laminated um, sheet of paper with all the rules and all that on there. They want you to read that before you get into anything. Um, I didn't take down my um, phone or my watch, my Apple watch. Um, cause I just didn't want to chance anything. Um, I just wore my little basic wristwatch. Um, it literally just tells time, nothing else. Um, and after reading that paper, I realized I couldn't even have that on me during the test, which kind of threw me for a loop because I like to test with a watch on cause I just like to keep track of time. Um, so they, um, make you scan your palm, um, and they take a little picture of you. Oh, and when you walk in, they, um, ask for your license or your ID or whatever. Um, and they get you all typed in the computer and all that. And then they give you, a, um, a locker and you put your personal items in there and lock it up. And then you take the little key with you. Um, and they make you, like, I had a hoodie on and they made me, like, um, flip out my pockets. Um, I didn't have any pockets on my pants because I was wearing like the most comfortable stuff that I can find. Um, so I didn't have any pants, uh, any pants pockets. Um, they make you like flip your hood inside out and, um, and then they make you like flip your ponytail, um, to show them like your neck. I don't know, it's a little weird. Um, I mean, I get why they're so like, um, anal about stuff. I get it, but it's still a little strange. Um, so then, um, you take your license and your little key to your locker and, um, you walk down the hall and the little proctored, um, person that's going to be watching you take your test. Um, you walk up to them, give them your license and they get you all into the computer and whatnot. Um, I had my glasses on and so they asked me to take them off and they put it on like this little circular device thing and they inspect your glasses, I guess, for any like cameras or microphones or who knows what. 
And, um, and then they give you your glasses back once again. Um, they scan your palm. Um, they, they make you flip your hair again. Um, and, and, uh, take all your pockets, like flip them inside out. Um, flip your hoodie. <clears throat> you have to wear your jacket the whole time. Like you can't, I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to take it off. Um, and then they'll escort you to your seat and they kind of like tell you like, hey, if you need a break, raise your hand. If something's going wrong, raise your hand. I'll come to you. Like, don't get up. Um, stuff like that. And everyone there was very sweet, um, very helpful, which I think helped with our anxiety a lot. Because um, it's a very like nerve wracking situation. I think they know that. So, they're all very friendly and helpful. Um, anyways, and he sat me at my seat. And um, they type in all their information on the computer. And they, they say, like, hey, this is your name. This is what your test is. Um, and make sure it's all right. And then they say, hey, these headphones are to drown out noise. These headphones are if you need to listen to something during the test. Um and they offer um little earplugs that you can put in your ear also but um i didn't i don't care for those too much um yeah and so they just get you all set up and my setup was very easy very smooth um and it took like maybe a few minutes like i walked in at at like one maybe a little before one and i started my test at like 102 so it's very quick um and yeah so i just want to like let y'all know kind of how it goes and like they also um once the computer starts um they kind of give you like a tutorial on the computer of how the test is going to be which i think is also good because it kind of helps you know what to expect even though a lot of most of us know what to expect when it comes to like what kind of questions and stuff that they're going to ask you but it also it's just very helpful um to see that before your test starts um i know everyone's experiences um with the NCLEX and preparing for the NCLEX is different um so this is just my experience and um hopefully it helps someone or like eases someone's mind or you know if it could just help one person, that'd be great. Anyways, uh, I'll talk to y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.